I remember as a boy when the bays would be black with cavemen. You would stand on the hills up above and you would look out and as far as the eye could see, the water was black. Black, as far as you could see, was black. That was Cape Land. And nobody needs a scientist if they lived in rural Newfoundland to know what's after happening with Cape Land. We all know the Cape Land is low. We work on capelin because of its importance as a forage fish. It's that fish that eats all the small things that we can't see in the ocean. So it's really that transfer of energy from the microscopic level up to cod, whales, puffins, seabirds. Capelin are quite unique in that in Newfoundland and Labrador, this is one of the only places in the world where they spawn on the beaches. So they also have an extremely important cultural importance to Newfoundland and Labrador and of course that essential connection to Northern Cod. Capelin reminds us that you know it just rolls at our feet and it's food for all of us and so you see people gathered at the shore you can look out and see the seabirds flying overhead and coming down for the capelin and then you can see the whales gathering to eat the capelin and so everyone is there in this big party at the beach to eat the capelin. We work to raise awareness about the importance of capelin in the province and about the importance of managing this fishery differently than we have for the past 30 years. We've been managing it for 30 years, expecting different results, and unfortunately what we see is a continued collapsed state of this stock. We want to change that around, lead to a future where we have more capelin, and with that, more cod, more fish, more people. I think everyone belongs as a part of the decision-making process. Just because you are not a fish harvester, you're still a human being who needs to live on this planet and like eat somehow and deal with the consequences of climate change. So I think everyone should be involved and everyone needs to have as much information as possible. So when we talk about a future of abundance of capelin, we talk about a future of abundance of northern cod, of turbot, of humpback whales off our coast, of puffins in the air. That's what we want to see. We want to see a rich, biodiverse future that's climate resilient and can support people through the ups and downs. We're part of the ecosystem and we're omnivores. So yeah, let's, when, when we live by the sea, we can take food from the sea. The ocean and fishing is a shared human heritage. Every country, every culture, everywhere in the world knows how to fish and has always fished. So it's like one thing that brings us all together as a people. And it might be different species, it might be different techniques, um, but there's just some, some kind of connection to that, of going out there, catching your own food and bringing it home. And even a toddler can go down and just waddle down to the shore and collect capelin. And so immediately, you know, that you've got the youngest human connecting with fish from the ocean and they don't even have to get in a boat. And so that's why the capelin, of course, is really important to me because it's, it's everybody's fish.